Okay, Christopher Abbott, tell us about the character you play in James White. Who is this guy? Um, I mean, he's kind of introduced. I mean, he's a twenty-something New Yorker. Um, in the beginning, you kind of catch him in the throes of um, somewhat of a down spiral in his life already, and um, uh, he's complicated, kind of confused, um, lo- lost in his life a bit, and then um, you know these other much bigger circumstances in, a, in his life are kind of thrown on him uh, throughout the duration of the movie. And the main one being um, his mother being uh, terminally ill. And, and I don't think, I don't, I don't feel bad about kind of giving it away. I don't think it's, you know, I don't think it's much, much of a reveal, but uh, yeah, that's what it's about. Well, let's <clears throat> talk about that a, a bit because um, that's sort of the pivotal moment in your, character's life and the thing that uh, starts to change him. You know, can you talk about like who he was before and, and who he is after without, you know, giving too much away? Are you... Right. I mean, well, um, uh, before, I mean, before he's kind of facing um, a lot of his own demons and, and uh, a lot of those demons are kind of self self-induced um, and he tries to alleviate them through, you know, distractions and, and substances and then through um through the situation with his mother and her and her illness he kind of starts to i mean for lack of a better phrase to uh, grow up a little bit um but the interesting thing about the movie and, and you know and and what i like about the arc of it is that you you know by the end of it he's not necessarily uh now a, a fully formed adult and person and has learned all of his lessons you know it's kind of left at a at a moment where there there is a sparkle of hope, but um, there's still there's a feeling that's left that there's still going to be a lot a lot to deal with. Mm-hmm. So how do you, as an actor, <clears throat> excuse me, chart that arc? I mean, uh, you know, going scene by scene and and uh, you know figuring out how you are going to portray uh, this evolution of the character Mm -hmm. well not to de-romanticize it but first and foremost (laughs) it's it's written (laughs) you know what i mean that's i mean that that's how the script is written you know that um that's the chunk of time uh you know uh, i feel like the film takes place over about four or five months um so just within that just within that frame you know there it, it doesn't it, that's too short of a time to 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 have too big of of, of an arc in that way you know mm-hmm. but but uh, uh, there is a feeling of um this is the beginning of something you know although although the movie ends with a feeling of an end you know there is an end of some of someone's life you, hopefully there's a, a sense of this is now the beginning of something and the beginning of of, of the the rest of his life um in terms of how we kind of charted it, you know, jo- Josh, the director, and I, um, you know, f- first of all, we've been friends for a long time. I got to um, work on the script for quite a while uh, before we actually started filming it, you know, about a year, a year or so before. So I was able to read different drafts of the script. I was able to kind of chat with Josh, uh, you know, whenever I, whenever I wanted. Um, we, we have a kind of a secondhand rapport with each other. So I think... I think it was very understood between him and I who this guy was and um, and how we're going to play it and kind of dance, you know, kind of dance on the, on this kind of fine line of, of a guy who can kind of come across as um, extremely maybe unlikable or, 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 you know, I mean, pick, you pick a word, but, <laughs> uh, but, you know, at the heart of it, um, he's trying to do good. And I think it's really about um, a person trying to do good, even though he doesn't have all the tools to do so. Right. Uh, some of the best moments in the in the film uh, for me are just these kind of moments where uh, you know there's not a lot that's there's a lot that's left unsaid. You know what I mean in terms of like dialogue and things like that. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of just from your perspective and you know all you know, we're seeing the world through your eyes in a sense. So how do you as an actor convey that kind of stuff? Um, I guess, I mean, I guess it would just be knowing, 
knowing the story, you know, and, and um, through, through creating this character, you know, knowing what he's thinking at, at all times and, and having done enough home, you know, having done the homework um, to be able to do that so that if a situation comes up, whether um, that's not, uh, you know, maybe, you know, that's not really scripted or, or, you know, or a moment between the lines that, that could mean something. It, it's, you know, it's having a, hopefully done enough homework to, to be able to um, react, react to it accordingly, you know, mm-hmm. through, through the character, through the character's eyes. So, yeah. Right. Talk a bit about working with Cynthia Nixon. Cause I mean, that is like the pivotal relationship in the movie. You know, what was that, uh, working relationship like you know what did you know tell us what that was like we didn't you know um given the constraints of this film i guess budget and time you know there wasn't there wasn't really any rehearsal before or um we 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 were able to kind of hang out a few times her josh and i uh, before before we started filming um but that was really for the kind of get to know you phase and uh and then so it was really about just day one and and showing up you know, on set and everyone having again done their homework and, and formed uh, having a, such a strong idea of their characters, you know, be able to play. And, and she, she did, she did exactly that. I mean, she's such a professional. She's been doing it for, for quite a while. Um, she does theater, she directs, she, you know, she, she knows what she's doing. And so um, w- when we were working together, the, the picture was just painted, you know, I, mm-hmm. I saw her and I, I saw who, you know, my mother was in, in the film and, uh, uh, and it made a lot of sense to me. And there was so much, you know, I felt like there was a, a, a history there that uh, on day, on day one of, of working that, um, was very apparent and, uh, it made, it made my job a lot easier in that way. Mm-hmm. Talk about filming in New York, you know, uh, what did that add to, uh, the film and your uh you know performance yeah um new york death i mean truly plays a character in this film um josh mond who you know writer director um grown up he grew up in new york so and he kind of wrote what he knew in that way and um oddly enough as uh, as little as you see any kind of landscape of, of this city um you feel it a lot, whether it's via sound or via anxiety, you know, and um, you, you know, and someone that has kind of grown up in that atmosphere, um, I think inherently just has uh, a a lot of anxiety, you know, Um, and it play, it plays a part in his frustrations. It plays a part in, um, recreationally what's available to him you know i mean like all a lot of the situations in the film can't happen if it if it weren't in new york you know and being able to have you know some of those things at at your doorstep at at a young age you know i think it kind of does something to somebody Mm -hmm. this is a tiny little independent movie uh that's getting a lot of buzz did you guys expect this when you were shooting it that it would you know, kind of get this acclaim and, you know, I mean, I know that's the goal with every film, but, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's the goal to do the best job we can. Um, I think everyone had a lot of faith in the project. I mean, you know, Josh, Mon, although it's his first feature film, you know, they've, with the Borderline guys and who are all dear friends of mine, you know, they, they've, they've made great films already. So they, you know, they, they have a history of, of, um, of making, you know, hard to watch sometimes, but, but very appealing films. And um, so I think with the backing of, uh, you know, Sean and Antonio, you know, the, who produced for Josh, um, they, no, no one was going to, you know, no one was going to let it be, be bad. You know, (laughs) you know, we all, we all really believed in it and we all really believed in this story, a story that's not completely autobiographical for Josh, but you know, a lot of the situations in it are, are his own. And, um, you know, aside from just being coworkers, just as friends, 
of his, I think everyone wanted to really do it justice in that way and do, and do him justice. Mm -hmm. So, no, I mean, we didn't expect, you know, we didn't, I did, I, well, I can only speak for myself. I, I, I believed in the project, but I didn't, I wasn't sure at all if, if it would be, um, that, that it would be this well received and I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much and congratulations on the film. And on your Gotham nomination as well. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. All right. Cheers. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye.